welcome back to the Beach Mom Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And after the beginning of the year, I might sprinkle in some kind of beachy general fiction reads. We'll see. Just toying around with it. I miss reading some of those, so I think you're going to see a few more of those, but it'll still be mostly cozy mysteries. Who am I kidding? All right. Today, though, our video is part two of the December 2022 Cozy Mystery Releases. These are all the Kindle, self-published, indie. In three, two, one, go! All right, let's get into some real quick announcements. On Monday, we have Reading Sprints on Storm's channel at Storm Reads. They're at 7 p.m. Go check her out, subscribe, she's amazing. On Thursday, we have our kickoff to the cozy advent calendar every day through the 24th from the 1st to the 24th. So Thursday is December 1st. We're doing a live kickoff with a bunch of the people that are participating. There'll be a cozy video each day and the person will direct you to whose video is the following day. There'll be all sorts of things. I told this, I told people anything holiday related, whatever holiday you celebrate and whatever you want to do is amazing. So you might have some decorating, some baking, uh, talking about books, of course, and any number of other things. You never know. I'm going to be doing a holiday cozy mystery author live on the 22nd as part of the advent calendar where some of um, my favorite authors are going to come and tell us about how their main character celebrates their holidays, what their main character's holidays traditions are, maybe your favorite recipe is going to be a blast. So join us on Thursday for the kickoff because we'll be giving out the full calendar, but you can always know where it is the next day because the, somebody will direct you there. Okay. Now I think that's it. Saturday, the killing time with cozies 4 PM here. That is Eastern time. These are all Eastern time. It is a scavenger hunt day. I know we had one last week. We normally don't have two scavenger hunts in a row, but because of the holidays, we had to kind of mix things up a little, but it's one of my favorite themes. So I'm so excited for this Saturday. It is farm and fruit orchard cozies. I always say that, but just know you don't have to read cozies. We are a cozy mystery group. So I'm always going to like suggest it and you know, but we, we want any, but anybody and everybody is welcome to come and share their books and read with us and hang out and chat. We all read other things. Well, most of us read other things. <laughs> Not really me, but most of us do. The first one is called Waste of a Life. This is the third book in the Decluttering Cozy Mystery series by Simon Brett. I never heard of this, but I find it intriguing. It says Ellen Curtis runs her own business helping people who are running out of space. As a declutterer, she is used to encountering all sorts of weird and wonderful objects in the course of her work, but she had never counted or encountered a dead body before. I'm going to definitely check this out. Sounds really fun. Next up, we have Scott in a Trap. This is book five in the Last Ditch Cozy Mystery series by Katrina McPherson. This has been on my TBR. I, every time I read it, I think it sounds like so much fun. It's set in California. It features Lexi Campbell, who fell in love and left her native Scotland for a golden life in California. Hitched to a hunk, building her marriage counseling practice, and living the dream. Six months later, she's divorced, broke, and headed home. <laughs> I can't wait to get started on that. It might be one I include in my 2023 23 Cozy Mystery series to try. We shall see. I'm working on that list. Basically, I'm trying to narrow it down to 23. It's not gonna happen. We'll see. We're gonna work on it. Next up is a series I have not tried, but I'm always interested when I see this theme. It's a fortune telling cozy mystery series. Book is called Death Rides a Pony. It's book number two. This is by Carol Miller. It says, Sisters Hope and Summer Bailey run Bailey's Boutique, a mystic shop in Asheville, North Carolina. I mean, that sounds fun. A mystic shop. I'm there for it. <laughs> Next up, we have book 11. It's called Low Country Getaway. This is part of the Liz Talbot Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Susan M. Boyer. It says, private investigator Liz Talbot is a modern Southern belle. She blesses hearts and takes names. She carries her <laughs> Sig 9 and her Kate Spade handbag and her Golden Retriever Rhett rides shotgun in her hybrid escape. 
Wow, somebody, if you've read that, let me know how it is. <laughs> Next one I was so excited about. Y'all know how much I love my cozies. And then it's a holiday themed cozy mystery series. I mean, I'm completely sold. So the book is called, oh, sad. The book number three is coming out. It's called Who Slayed the Santas? This is part of the Juniper Holiday Cozy Mystery Series by Leanne Dobbs. I can't, Slade Santa. Okay, focus. Says Juniper Holiday can always find a good reason to have a party. Too bad her parties usually end in murder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love holiday cozies. I am there. Has anybody read number one? Let me know. This next one I'm really interested in trying. I'm not a huge fan of historical cozies, but every once in a while they, they certain ones catch my attention, maybe some sort of buzzword. Not really sure, can't always explain it. This one's called A Murder of Christmas Past. I mean, this one's based around Christmas, so there you go. It is book five in the Kitty Worthington Cozy Mystery Series by Magda Alexander. It says England, 1923. After a year away at finishing school where she learned etiquette and the difference between a fish fork and a salad one, Kitty Worthington is eager to return home. Just sounds fun. This next one is no surprise. I don't think we go a month without her publishing a book. It's Kathy Daly. The book is Secret in the Santa. It's number 21 in the Inn at Holiday Bay. This features Abby Sullivan, who buys an old mansion and turns it into an inn. Next up, we have a series that I'm interested in trying. It's the Snug Harbor series. Book number three is coming out, The Lies That Bind. This is by Karen McInerney. It says, bookseller and recent divorcee, Max Sayers has risked her life savings to start a fresh chapter with the purchase of Seaside Cottage Books in cozy Snug Harbor, Maine. Maine, bookstore, Seaside. This is one I wanna try. Oh, next up is a series y'all know I absolutely love. It's the Campers and Criminals series. Number 29 is coming out. It's called Gifts, Glamping, and Glocks. Oh, this series is part of the Campers and Criminals series. I might have already said that this is by Tanya Kappas. Our main character, Mae West, owns the Happy Trails Campground in Normal, Kentucky, where nothing is normal. I love everything about this series. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you enough. The, the campground, they do like these, um, uh, community-wide potlucks each night. There's a group of ladies that call themselves the laundry ladies that are, they basically just, you know, get together and gossip and solve murders. <laughs> it's just, it, it, everything about it, I absolutely love. So much fun. Can't wait. Next up is another Kathy Daly. It's incredible. It's A Christmas Memory. This is book 11 in The Cottage on Gooseberry Bay. I have not tried this series and I don't know really anything about it. But I, every series, every other series that I have tried have been absolutely amazing by Kathy Daly. I can't say enough. They're so cute. Next up, we have Murder at the Debutante Ball. This is the fifth book in the Cleopatra Fox Cozy Mystery Series by C.J. Archer. It says, December 1899. After the death of her beloved grandmother, Cleopatra Fox moves into the luxury hotel owned by her estranged uncle in the hopes of putting hardship and loneliness behind her. Luxury hotel. I would love to live in a luxury hotel. No, actually I wouldn't, but I love the idea of it. I don't think I actually would want to do it, but you know, it sounds really glamorous and definitely one I want to read. <laughs> Next up. Oh, mole, holy moly. Book 18, Animal Accomplice. This is part of the Pet Whisperer PI series by Molly Fitz. It says Glendale is home to Blueberry Bay's first ever talking detective. Along with his ragtag gang of humans and animal helpers, Octocat has determined to save the day. Holy moly. I don't know about a talking de cat detective. I'm just going to tell you. I mean, it sounds really fun, and I know a lot of people who will love it, but it's probably not going to be for me, but I think that's hilarious. Next up is one that I think this whole series has such cute covers. It's, the book is Candy Cane Conspiracies, cute title. This is the seventh book in the Claire's Candles Cozy Mystery Series. That's a lot of C's, y'all. Candy Cane Conspiracies, book seven in the Claire's Candles Cozy Series. 
It says, one decision can change everything. Claire Harris loves nothing more than crafting homemade candles. She has always dreamed of one day opening a quaint candle shop, but at 35, she still can't afford to take the risk. Stuck in a dead-end job at the local candle factory and back living with her parents, Claire knows her life needs a shakeup. That is just the general synopsis of the series. You had me a candle, let's, let's face it. You had me a candle. <laughs> Next up, we have Clawful Scandal. <laughs> this is part of the Secret Library Cozy Mystery Series by C.C. James. It's book five. It says, when Laura Lee took the summer job as a housekeeper at the old Thornberry uh, estate, she knew it was a creepy place, but had no idea how creepy. Oh my goodness. That sounds like a lot of fun, and the cover is really cool. Next up, we have The Ghost of Christmas Present right here. This is book 34 in the Darcy Sweet Cozy Mystery Series by K.J. Emmerich. I've had this on my TBR forever. I really want to try it. It says, Darcy Sweet would like to think she is just an ordinary woman, happy in her life, running the Sweet Read bookstore, but she is an ordinary. She has a connection to the other side that seems to draw her into mysterious situations. It might be too paranormal for me, or it might be amazing. I'm definitely wanting to check it out. Next up, we have Fatal Fungus. This is book five in the Dog Leg Cove Cozy Mystery Series by Danielle Collins. It says Regina Slim, a.k.a. Reggie, inherited a unique marina where dogs and people enjoy houseboat living. That sounds really interesting. I think it would be fun to have a boat marina cozy mystery series about houseboats and stuff. I'm there. I'm going to check it out. Next up, we have Alaska Alibi Cruise. This is the fourth book in the cruise ship cozy mystery series by Addison Moore. It says, an impending divorce, an honorary homicide detective, the cruise of a lifetime, oh, and ghosts. Interesting. I think all of her books are paranormal. Let me know if you've tried that one because I am interested in a cruise ship cozy. I'm always looking for cruise ship cozies. Next up is the series that I know is going on my 2023 TBR. It is the Pumpkin Hollow Cozy Mystery Series book. Number 25 is coming out, Christmas Calamity. See, this is the other thing I do myself. Not only do I start so many series, but I they have to, it, 25 books in the series already, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to get there. This is by Kathleen Suzette. It says, welcome to the warmth and charm of Pumpkin Hollow. Well, you'll find a family-owned candy store, lovable characters, and a dead body or two. Can't wait. Here's your book, Peril. This is the 10th book in the St. Marin's Cozy Mystery Series by ACF Bookins. It says, when Harvey Beckett moves to the Eastern Shore, Maryland, and opens her bookstore in the town of St. Marin's, she has no idea that she's also beginning her work as an amateur sleuth. Next up is another lady who writes a ton and publishes almost every month. It is Rosie A. Point. The book is called Devil's Food, Cake, and Death. It's part of the Bee's Bakery Cozy Mystery Series. It's number three. It says bakers Ruby and Bee have settled into their new town of Mystery, Maine, where their lobster rolls are fresh and the locals are friendly. They're running their new bakery. Oh, can't wait to try this one. I'm a bakeries are probably one of my favorite cozy mystery themes so I am there next up we have another bakery series hence why I'm so excited about it it's called cut bread handed <laughs> amazing title job well done it's part of the twin berry bakery cozy mystery series this is by Wendy Meadows it's book 10. It says retired cops Rita and Rhonda Knight are eager to leave their crime fighting past behind and retire to the sleepy little town of Clovedale Falls. I'm there. Next up is Lobster Trapped. This is book four in the Shipwreck Cafe Cozy Mystery Series by Donna Clancy. It says Jay Hallett leaves a flourishing law career in Boston to return to his hometown of Anchor Point on Cape Cod. He secretly, he secretly purchased the local lighthouse and surrounding property to open the Shipwreck Cafe. Next up is Carolers and Corpses. This is the second book in the Holly Day Cozy Mystery Series by Rachel Lynn. It says retired sheriff's deputy, deputy Holly Day 
embarks on a new career decorating for events in the low country, but crime seems to find the former deputy like flies find manure. I am so there. I love event planning cozies. I've only read a couple, but they suck me in every time. Next up is Ain't Nothing But a Murder. Love the title. This is a book one new series alert. It's part of the Rita's Pita's Cozy Mystery Series by Summer Prescott. It says Rita had just um, eased into had just eased into a new start in life. Her job as a server and manager at a boardwalk cafe in Calgon, Florida, paid the bills and gave her the chance to be creative with food. Oh my gosh. If y'all don't know, the boardwalk is a huge buzzword for me and cozies. Oh my gosh, can't wait. Next up, we have Roast Date. This is part of the Barks and Beans Cafe Cozy Mystery Series. It's book number seven. This is by Heather Day Gilbert. It says, welcome to the Barks and Beans Cafe, a quaint place where folks pet shelter dogs while enjoying a cup of java. Oh my gosh, this totally just went on my TBR. <laughs> I don't know if I'd read through all of that. Oh, so excited about that one. That is adorable. The last one I have for you today is Homicide and Hot Cocoa. This is book three in the Coffee Truck Cozy Mystery Series by Justine Maxwell. It says our main character is Hazel. She loves being in the coffee business with her mom and grandma. This just totally went on my TBR. I love food truck cozies. The ones I've read have been so fun. Man, so many of these just went on my DBR. Let me know what you're most excited about. Give me two thumbs up for this video. And until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.